So in this video, we're going to review some common mistakes applicants make on the Georgetown application, which is not on the Common App. But first, welcome to Georgetown. Don't be intimidated by the fact that Georgetown is not on the common application. I think you'll find that the questions asked in the application, even though it's a separate application, a separate application portal, are very similar to those that you'll encounter on the common app. You'll have a question that's pretty much your personal statement on the common app, and don't hesitate to recycle what you've already put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into on the common app. You can use that same personal statement for Georgetown. No need to reinvent the wheel. The other question in the Georgetown supplement is the good old, why do you want to come here? And for that question, I still think telling a day in the life, ideal day, pretending you're an actual student, that's the way to go. And like other essays, you can mention the city in which the college is located. Obviously, D.C., Washington, D.C., it's the nation's capital, a lot of interesting facts, historical, political facts. But just consider a couple things when talking about D.C. Uh, if you're a Georgetown student, your ideal day may not necessarily need to involve the president. You don't need to talk about how you want to see the White House every day. I, I find some students include those details in their essay and they just come off sounding, even though they're very intelligent students, they come off sounding like, you know, to put it harshly, they just got back from their first time in a big city or they're back from their fifth grade trip to D.C. and they're really excited about the president and the White House. Mom, I saw the White House. I saw the, the president. Pennsylvania Avenue. It would kind of be like writing an essay for NYU or Columbia or a school in New York and just describing how uh, in the ideal day, uh, perfect day in the life of a Columbia student, you, you go to Times Square. Uh, just seems a little weird, right? It's something people actually don't do. Got me nervous. They go to school and do bottle service. They can't decide, they keep switching majors. Being indecisive makes me anxious. And you should have no problem. Uh, look at the Kennedy Center, a lot of interesting things are going on, and that's a nice thing to include in your Georgetown supplement essay. Why you want to go to Georgetown? You want to have a nice evening out in D.C.? Uh, just be careful you don't come off cliche. Georgetown students aren't going to the, to, the, to the mall, to Capitol Hill, to the Smithsonian every week. It's not part of their agenda, and you'll come off pretty disconnected and out of touch with reality if you feature that a little too prominently in your essays. Politics is D.C., so you can mention that, but don't describe how you saw the President of the United States when walking to class. Uh, maybe a detail that you had a, a guest speaker for a class who's a senator or a representative, or maybe you've run into a, a representative. That's interesting, and uh, maybe you're, you actually recognize this person because of a pre-existing interest in a, a policy of his, uh, something that she uh, she does, maybe she's from your state, she's a senator, uh, whatever it might be, have it be a specific person if you're going to talk about a politician in your essay. Please not the president, please not the vice president, please not the White House, uh, Washington Monument, uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, a conclusion uh, citing how you see the Washington Monument in the distance, it's okay, but you want to give the impression in your, your supplement essay that you've actually been to the campus, that you understand the climate, and you're, you're, you're giving the reader uh, an image of you as an actual student, not just someone who, like I said, is a tourist who's visited D.C. So talk about D.C., but keep those things in mind in your Georgetown supplement. Good luck applying. Georgetown is an absolutely wonderful school. I think you'll have a great time there. And with these tips, hopefully you are able to reuse your personal statement from the Common App, and you're also able to write a, a very genuine essay about why you're interested in attending Georgetown University. I'm David. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.